Door after door, I was rejected, I was sworn at, I was told to get a real job, until the 93rd door, where I made my first sale. I remember I was ecstatic for about 45 seconds. Then I had this realization, I'm gonna do this again tomorrow. Specializing and realizing that everyone is not your customer is the key to rapid growth. Yet most people focus on selling to many. People remember 22 times more information when embedded into a story. It short circuits the logical mind and you speak directly to the emotional mind. The emotional mind, however, loves stories. They hear a story and they're like, story time. <laughs> speaking to everyone is speaking to no one. Differentiation is the only important thing or the most important thing to separate yourself from everyone else. And yet it's the thing that most people don't think about. There's a system and a process, and as soon as we understand that, then sales, presenting, networking, all of a sudden become not only open to us, they're actually things that we can learn and master. There are key things that introverts are great at. The first one is preparation, because we understand that it's the key to our success. We're really great listeners, and we know how to empathise better than most extroverts do. And because of that, we actually have this huge advantage over our competition. Now, the moral of the story is that the customer had a successful outcome working with you. And because of that, so can they. My manager pulls me in his office, he's got this puzzled look on his face. And he said, Matt, we're kind of blown away by this, but we just got our national sales figures. And it turns out you're the number one salesperson in the company. Everyone thinks because you can sell, you can manage. Well, I got given a team of 20. In my first week, all of them quit. <laughs> so I went back to YouTube and I learned the process of managing. I went from scared to sell to teaching hundreds how to do it. Now, I get the opportunity to teach thousands. Abraham Lincoln used to say, give me six hours to chop down a tree. You'll spend the first four hours sharpening the ax. What most people do in their business is akin to just keeping on chopping. It's absolutely time to sharpen the ax.